Welcome to Heal Talk Tuesdays with Lisa, where transformation begins as we evoke, embrace, and evolve. Greetings, 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 and welcome to Heal Talk Tuesdays. It's so good to be here, right here with you, isn't it? So, what do you do when you are facing some difficulties, especially technical difficulties or uh, something that challenges you. You know, one of the things that I do when my clients come to me is I help them with the three E's. So what are the three E's? First and foremost, if you don't know who I am, my name is Lisa Bubari and by trade, I'm a clinical hypnotherapist and stress management consultant. So I've realized one thing in life, there are so many things that stress us. So many things that push the buttons, trigger us, challenge us. So how do I help my clients? I call it the 3E method, which is the Lisa Bubari 3E method. And uh, today I want to talk a little bit about the 3E and what it stands for why I created it. And a part of hypnotherapy is frankly, uh, tapping within our subconscious mind. It's doing therapy through hypnosis. So the three E method, it also is when we find ourselves in life. Hi, Giselle John, how are you? When we find ourselves stuck in the same patterns that we are wondering why the same thing happens over and over. And when a client comes and through those challenges, even myself, I do the same thing. What are the three E's? Number one, it's about evoking. What is evoking? Which is evoking is acknowledging our past experiences. When emotions, trauma, pain, and some unresolved issues are truly bur buried in our subconscious mind, uh, they keep resurfacing. They keep su resurfacing, they become our triggers. So, and they, what happens? They block us from moving forward in life. So, in a way, evoking is shedding a light illuminating, shining a light on those moments and experiences of the past. So we recognize the triggers. And that's the number one. So without acknowledgement, we cannot continue on to the next level, which is embracing, truly embracing, which is accepting the reality right here, right now. Often we ignore some of the things that are happening right here. And by ignoring, it's like, and I'm not wanting to say that we put our head in the sand and we say it's not here, but ignoring the reality, acknowledging what is really happening and um, wanting to dust it off or putting it under the carpet and saying, you know what, I don't see it, I don't hear it, I don't want to know about it, it doesn't really do good to you. So embracing is saying, okay, I got it. This is what's really happening. I take ownership of what is happening. I take my own responsibility and like a client when uh, just two days ago, she was like, but this person is the one that hurt me. This person is the one that did this. And I'm like, I got it. But let's talk about you. Let's talk about what you feel. She's like, but it's not about me. It's about, no, 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 no. I bring it back to what you feel, what you are going through. What is it that it's happening inside your body? Are you feeling sad? Are you feeling angry? Are you feeling whatever it is that it's happening right here, right now? 
if you are not recognizing honoring and whole it's like taking responsibility of what's happening in your body because your body is truly responding it's either breaking down it's paining you um if you have a discomfort if it is in your stomach and it's digestive that means something is not it's our life cycle so in life, there's things that it's, you know, the gut feeling, your gut is not digesting well, you're having issues right here. It's embrace what is happening, understand what in my life is out of balance. What in my heart, if this is paining you, if it is the arm, that means something that you cannot handle. If it is your legs, that means it's hard for you to take steps forward. So recognize every part of your body. It's embracing the signals that your body also gives you. In order for you to evolve to the next step, which is truly evolving towards what you desire, you cannot move forward if you, there is a part of you that says, you know what? I just want to go back to what everything was. There is no way, no way in life that you ever want to go back. I was talking to someone who was telling me, I did my chemotherapy, I did the radiation and everything, and I just want this thing to be finished and I want to go back to who I was before. No, there is no way you want to go back because you don't want to go back and restart experiencing this entire thing, do you? So in order for you to move forward in your life, you must truly embrace everything you just experienced. The chemotherapy, the radiation, what your body went through, your own discomfort, your sadness, your anger, your resentment, everything, own it. So that you can move forward to going into remission. So your body can start the healing process. You can't be in the resentment and want to be done and heal. So every, 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 every energy, every thought, every idea, every concept, everything that you feel, not only consciously, but subconsciously, those are the triggers that you must acknowledge. If you are not healing that one, you cannot step into full immersion of healing. You know, bottom line, I like to say, if you are seeking guidance on a journey of healing, if you are ready to step into what it is that you truly desire, allow me to help you. I take my clients through this 3E process. I know I have had the 3E events and everything, but everything stems on this 3E process. Is the method that I have created that you go through this journey of shedding a light, embracing so that you can evolve. Together, we can truly unlock the potential that resides within you. I guide you so you can tap within yourself. Someone said, how do you do it? When I find a trigger, when I acknowledge something that triggers me, I do my own work. I tap into because if it's a trigger that took me to an experience just the other day, I did a post about it. Someone said something and it triggered me all the way to my childhood, which was an experience. Acknowledging 
that trigger, that moment. And the moment I acknowledged it, I changed the story. How I changed the story, I'm not that little girl facing the wall. I'm not being punished anymore. So it's loving that part of me and saying, there is no more punishment. Words like that are not going to trigger me. And not I'm not cornered anymore. No one can set me into a, an anxiety. Words are not going to set that trigger. By acknowledging it, I can shift it and I change the story. By changing the story, it's like embracing that part of me that thought I'm being punished and saying, you did good. You're safe. You're okay. How many of you can literally do this kind of a work if you don't know the process of doing so? And that is what I ask you. I open the dialogue and say, if you or someone you know is going through some challenges, physically, mentally, emotionally, facing challenges, blocks, and they can't move forward, especially mentally and emotionally, that physical body is responding. You know, there's a cause and effect to everything. By all means, let me know. I pride myself after 24 years of doing this clinical hypnosis and hypnotherapy work, stress management, using tools and techniques to be able to help my clients. So let's connect and start your transformation, the journey to healing within. I'm Lisa Bubari. This is the power of the three E, evoking what was, the experiences of the past, embracing what is, which is the reality of right here, right now, so that you can evolve to what it is that you desire, your goal, living a better life, a healthier life. With this, I say thank you, God bless you, and may the universal light surround you always. Thank you. Gyanka duas azizis. On bort uje komecha. Bye-bye. Thank you for being here. If you want to check out some of the testimonials that I've got, click right here. But if you want to go back and watch other videos from a week ago, two weeks ago, even a year ago, click right here. See you next time.